Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Bell Right. Uh, hey, it's is a new uh, game going to be coming out in short uh, soon for a uh, early access, and I was given uh, early uh, ability to come in and take a look at it, kind of a pre-release thing. The game is still in beta, and what you're seeing is going to be a beta client, but uh, the guys over at uh, Donkey Crew, they were cool enough to send me over a key, so hey, you know what? Let's hop into this and let's take a look. I've only taken a look at the options. Everything else is my um, initial first reaction so and that's kind of the way i want to keep this all right well let's see let's pop in a new game all right let's take a look at the character development honestly this does look pretty good oh man um let's see let's take a look um can we change the all right when when are games gonna start actually putting in a soul patch come on all right uh okay so very limited on the hairstyles but uh let's see um, honestly, our character doesn't have to be amazing looking. Does, I mean, I do kind of like the, uh, overall looks of the, the graphics and everything. I mean, you can see the stitching and everything. I mean, granted, I do have everything completely, uh, pumped up to max. So, you know, let's take a look. Uh, name our character Flinger and let's hop into game. Yeah, we're ready to start. Let's do this. Oh, that is a cool loading screen. So is that. Okay, if the in-game graphics are like this, I'm going to be pleased. Because that's pretty. That's really pretty. Not as much. Yeah, not as much. Oh, hey, my screenshot finally came through. Hey, look at this. Isn't it funny? How one small decision can have consequences that ripple through history. Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite woods on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? From a tree on high, you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. And when the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick on you all. In the panic and confusion, you ran from the scene as fast as your legs would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. Fearing for your life, your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home and brought away on horseback. In tears, you called out to your mother, but it was too late. Your old life was over. For years, you hid from the royal family, your resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland, the rise and fall of a rebellion, the death of the king, and the reign of the evil Queen Osen. But on the eve of your 20th birthday, your guardian, the man who smuggled you out of Carvinia and kept you safe all these years, was brutally killed by a mysterious assassin. As he died in your arms, his hand clutched a coin with a strange sigil emblazoned upon it, a clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer recognize? Backstory. Oh, that was good. All right, I like that. 
All right, and here we go. All right, let's uh, take a look at a few things. First off is how fluid the character movement is. The story of the lowlands. Lowlands are the pro uh, poorest of the five regions and one of the oldest. Its occupants rely mainly on agriculture for their livelihood. I'm not touching the mouse. It's just doing that jagged bit by itself. All right, due to the scourge, the people are barely producing enough to sell, let alone to keep for themselves. The current controlling Lord Ashbourne is cruel. See. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, so we've got tech tree. We know how to build a simple workbench. Lore. World in general. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff here, a whole bunch of history and everything like that we can read, which is kind of cool. We can go back and we can take a look at us. What is this? Oh, this is the tech tree itself. Okay. How do we go back? See, oh, how do we go back? Oh, oh, okay, there we go. All right, it's just way zoomed out. Wow. Okay, okay. So, uh, the stuff up here. This is studded bracers, black hide boots, folded leather boots. Okay, so we can go down this path and then that path. A little small backpack, and then so I have a feeling that as we're leveling up, we'll learn some of the stuff and then it shows you the path that's kind of intuitive it shows you exactly what you have to do to get where you want to be i like that i like that in a tech tree all right oh hold on hold on let's see i this is uh our inventory we start out with traveler's garb traveler's shoes traveler's trousers we have a berry and a shroom okay uh let's see uh strength agility okay apparently we will be raising these up because they start out as one attributes i have a feeling when we level up that will actually come in oh hold on and then also we've got inventory uh building small shack which takes wood and flax that's kind of cool all right uh let's see journal map how big is this map Decent size. Okay. All right. All right. I'm digging that. And this is where we're at. So far, the game actually seems to be kind of fluid. And I would like that in a game, you know, for some weird reason. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's take a look up here. What is this? Okay. Left click and right click are not doing anything right yet. got old coin coins from the old age before tyranny in carvinia uh elders okay what is this all right here's the last words and torn piece of paper we're fighting to save the innocents, but it's getting harder by the day. We could have known that the... Oh, who could have known that the butcher with that grim name is someone who's got a soft spot for kids? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Uh, together, we're a makeshift family. Uh, we're a makeshift family in this mess, but there's talk of a rat among us. Someone leaking our next moves, maybe even leading to the king's dogs to our door. Can't trust anyone for these days. And then there's my own kid, always looking at me. Like they know something's up. Makes my skin crawl. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, let's see. Escape out of that. Oh, and it just goes through all that. Okay. All right. So, see, we have jump. All right. So, the animations so far aren't super fluid. Can we get back there? Can we jump up here? Yes. All right. All right. Before we get into that, let's play the game the way it was intended. Uh, before we break it. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, here we go. All right, Herodine is first believed to the oldest uh, subtle lowlands, but conflict has sown into its very foundation. Okay. We're here. All right, the graphics are good. Animations, not so much. But then again, this is also just a beta, so. What is this? Uh, it's rock requires tool. What is this? Tin ore. 
Oh, okay, so just left click. Copper ore. Apparently that fell out of the rocks. When the rocks pooped, we got it. All right, uh, let's take a look down here. Oh, hey, there we go, sapling. That's what we need. We need stuff so where we can make other stuff. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? Please be something. Yes. Okay, trees require a tool. Very bush. Okay, I'm liking the fact that... I mean, so in some aspects on some games, I like that you can just run through them and just gather them up. But I also like, you know, having to take your time and gather stuff like this. I'm not sure if that'll get old after a while, but, you know, other than that, it does look pretty good. It, it adds that little level of immersion that uh, a lot of people really enjoy. All right, let's see. Lots of trees. What's over here? Do we have any stamina? Okay, so up top in the left, it looks like we have... Let's get over here so we can actually see it. Looks like some sort of currency, maybe gold. And then we have a, a card, a banner, a shield, something that says zero of zero. I'm not sure what, what those mean. And then we, uh, the red is most likely health, and the green is definitely stamina because that is what I was clicking right then. Is that the wind coming in? Oh, if they've got wind effects already in this early stage, that actually seems kind of cool. And, okay, so, all the harvestable things have this little white dot on them. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I am appreciating the help at this particular stage. My inventory is full. Okay. All right. Uh, talk to Dobrin Yorkin the Elder. Searching for answers. Um, do we, can we actually craft anything? Uh, we've got, wow, we've got a lot of berries. They're, they're not stackable. Oh. Okay, so they spoil, but they slowly drag down on your food. Can consume more food. Okay, so where is my food meter? Uh, I'm not sure. All right, so, all right, and the mini map is telling me that I need to go that way. Okay, so we're the North Descent Lowlands. It is 624 at night on day one. Let's get down here. Okay, I'm enjoying the aesthetic of this already. Oh my gosh. And from what also I gather, there is a bunch of strategy elements in this and stuff as well. Hey, can we talk to you guys? You guys hate me because I apparently... I heard the coin elder has been asking soul. if there is anyone who Just can help him out Just a few pennies to stave things. off hunger's bite. You look like you could use some help yourself. Here, hold on. Let me. There's an unstuck sound. I want to hear that again. Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. My stomach hurts badly. I'm too hungry. Okay, that voice acting is... That's something else, I'm just saying. All right, uh, let's see. Let's talk. I think we need to talk, Traveler. You're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. Um... I mean you no harm. I came to the Lowlands looking for some answers. For answers huh? In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need and you could be on your way. 
But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. No, but you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. Come back once you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. Okay, so what's the icon above his head? Okay, this is that the elder. Buildings and construction. Build your first shelter. Um, a shack to do so. Press B to open construction menus, then select shack and place it on the ground. Eat. Okay. Uh... Okay. Each construction requires resources to build it. Uh, building shacks shouldn't be a problem for you, but later on, hired workers will help you out with more complex construction. You cannot place buildings too close to existing villagers. Finding a good spot close to all sorts of resources is your first big decision. It will affect your logistics. Okay. All right. So that voice acting, uh, they, yeah, it, it's in beta. I Hopefully, they will either, I mean, honestly, at the quality of that, I, I would just say remove it. Or go through and cha make Reverse it sound like it wasn't like a, a Discord conversation and half the people had bad mics. Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, so there's more stuff over here. Let's see, so we need to build a shack, wait until tomorrow to check with Dober Yorkland. Alright, let's... Where's the map? Let's go back the way we came, and let's go take a look over here really quick. I mean, it is getting dark. Nighttime is coming fast. Spare a coin for an old soul? See, that right there, that audio right there, it was just really weird. Hungry and down on luck. A coin. That sounded like AI. Work, peasants. There's no time to lose. All right, but that aside, can we run? Oh, we missed the turn off. All right, missed our exit. Okay, so now we've got a couple things. One, we're in um, Herndern, Herndine, and then we are, our status is stranger. a lake or a pond okay all right let's get out of town oh and apparently <laughs> I was trying to jump over that uh, okay, so we're in the Sunsteep Valley. Is this far enough away from town? I see wildlife. Sun is setting. Let's see, uh, shack. All right, we'll go with that. All right, so we've got sticks. What is that? Apparently it's flax. Oh, it's getting dark. What is this? Very bush. 
Oh, that's wood that we needed. Okay. Inventory's full. It's weird that you can't stack stuff. Okay, place that. Place that. Place that. What is this? Okay, we need to find flax. There's flax. I okay, so we found some flax, and apparently our loot is our our inventory is full, and we're running low on berries. All right, let's see. This is settlement. Okay. All right. All right, we're getting there. Oh, now we have to build a bunch more. Now let's go see if we can go get some more flax over here. This is really dark. I'm sorry about that. Let's... Oh, we don't need sage. We need flax. There we go. No, 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 sage. I can't. You can't cancel it. There we go. Oh, inventory's full again. All right, this kind of sucks. Let's see. There we go. All right, so that's what we're doing with the flax, which was kind of understandable, but yeah. No, yeah. Sage, no, flax, yes. You have to pick and choose. Inventory is full. Hello. How you doing? Don't eat my face. I would really appreciate it if you did not eat my face. What is this construction check? Oh, is that just like the additional stuff so you have a drop-off spot? Kind of makes sense. Oh, now more stuff opened up. All right. Oh, we can actually go inside of it now. The building in this is not what I expected. We got it! Yeah, we have unlocked technology tier one. I would have liked to have done that by myself. I mean, I have a private stash. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's cool that it's already pre-made. Oh, and we have this. Let's see, we could make a simple axe. What is? What does that take? It takes wood. Okay. 
do we get out of this window? Hit escape. Okay. Let's get some more wood really quick. And it is past midnight. More wood over here. Four sticks. See how many sticks we eat we need six sticks, right? Okay, and I can't carry it because inventory is full. Alright, let's close that up. Let's go see if we can make our axe. Now you... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. And then primitive club. So we've got this. And this is the timer. Where does this go? Weapons. Okay. Press that. All right, so one... Ah, it's a little hatchet. A little hand axe. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, we got a log. Okay. What is the log good for? That takes up a lot of inventory. Can't put it in my inventory. I can't throw it out. Oh, okay, let's see. There we go. What is that? Tin ore, copper ore. You know what? That is taking up a lot of our inventory. Crude stone. Need more sticks. Sage. Don't thank you. Old coin. I have no idea what that's for. All right. So now we have to wait until morning. Got to sleep. All right. So we can sleep through the night. Day two. Four days until winter. What? All right. And now we've got to go talk to this guy again. Does, is that marked on our map where we built that? It is. Okay. Okay. That determines how you attack. So it's a forward, right, and left sweep. That's kind of kooky. I do kind of enjoy that. Oh, we need some food. All right, so that lasts a little bit longer. That's our bread. I need to find some berries. Okay, now, the food actually helps our uh, stamina regenerate faster, right? Let's put that away. Run inside town. But yeah, I was hoping to get into some combat. I'm not sure if we're going to be uh, getting that far.
Alright, where'd Dude McDuderson go? Come closer. There you are, man. I'll tell you what. We actually have one problem you can try to resolve. If sure. you're willing, of course. Sure. It gets cold around here, especially close to the mountains. If we want to keep ourselves warm, we need fur for it, rabbit or wolf pelts, but you see our hunter. Well, we got into a little discussion about how things should work in the village regarding payment. He doesn't want to work with us anymore, but Herndy mostly depends on him to provide. I want you to convince him to deliver traps. If you can bring us rabbit fur too, that would be very much appreciated. But we can't expect you to do that every day. We want to be self-sufficient with our fur traps. So the priority is the traps, and the rabbit fur will be appropriate. Take care of that, and then I will consider your request. Go speak to her. She's a bit of a troublemaker, but her heart's in the right place, or so I can. She has a good relationship with everyone in the village. She knows nearly everything that goes on around here. If anyone can point you in the right direction, it's her. Alright, so talk to Emil, uh, Emily. Or Emily. Emily. I, it was so low, I was trying really hard to hear it, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Where is she? Oh, is she on the move? Oh, she's on the move! There's something up here. Notice of raised taxes. Okay. Oh, there she is. I see her moving. Hey, get over here. Hey, 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 come here. I'm looking for you. Get over here. Oh, I saw you go behind that tree. You almost disappeared. Found you. Found you. you. Say, have we met before? Your face is awfully familiar. Maybe. Unfortunately, he's in the forest just up the hill. Perhaps bring a book so you have something to do while we ransom you. Oh, no, not more talking. Okay. I mean, honestly, so far, it looks like a lot of the gameplay elements and the graphics are really good. Uh, I have a couple gripes about a, a few things. A couple uh, compliments as well. Um, one, the voice acting. Not good. Um... I mean, honestly, with the voice acting quality, I would rather, I would actually say, if it's this bad, just get rid of it and come back with something else. Um, or just, just get rid of it. But, uh, the building, not super good. Um, I mean, you built a predetermined shack, which, granted, that does have its ups and downs, but also, I mean, I would also like to build my own, you know? Um, and the combat does seem kind of cool, where, uh, you know, the directional thing, I haven't actually seen it in action. What are you looking for? You don't look like the hunting type, so what are you doing here? Hilarious. I'm sure you'll still be laughing when a pack of wolves rip you limb from limb while you're still alive, or bandits beat you bloody and sell you as a slave outside of the local. Okay. You're asking for help, but you don't... I used to be a respected member of the community. So I don't need your life story, dude. Point me in a direction. Pay, the elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. It's not about wealth. I'm sick of talking about it, to be honest. Let's make it a... You look like someone who can get things done. I don't know why... I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter. Together, we can make each other's lives easier in this land. Sure. So, can we cooperate? Okay, so build a housing tent and a place to sleep. Okay, so this is the first guy. And honestly, it does seem like this game is a lot more... It, it does have some survival elements, but it's also a lot like uh, Medieval Dynasty, which is a fun game. Um... So, yeah, and it depends on how in-depth they can go will actually, uh, I mean, yeah. 
But uh, honestly, there's a lot of potential here. I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit, you know, kind of. I uh, mean, from a survival aspect, I'm saying I would like to build the shack myself. But then again, also, I can understand why they would have predetermined ones. But, yeah. But I do think there is a lot that you can go with, which will be kind of cool, actually. Oh, we need logs. Wait, I need... Oh, you place the log in here. And then it immediately makes it a sticks. Okay, so this right here will tell you, this tells you everything you need. You need one log, nine wood, and six flax. That's kind of kooky. All right, and then I assume that you're going through and you're building up your entire uh, village. And then you grow bigger that way and you have to manage the village. That sounds kind of cool. All right, let's see if we can catch this rabbit, though. I, I... Or are we going to have to rely on traps and bows? We're probably going to have to rely on traps and bows because this thing is moving. Now look at that sucker. There is no way we're catching up to that. But yeah, honestly, it does seem like it. there's uh, some pretty cool stuff. Um, depends on how much depth they put into the game is really what's going to sway me. So, yeah. Anyway, I do think that's where I'm going to end it. This was uh, pretty much just the first look at it. If you guys want to see more, see where uh, this thing goes, let me know in the comments down below and also hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If uh, you're new around here, subscribe and you want to see more uh, just me doing games like this. Also, I do a lot of survival games and other stuff. So, hey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger, and take it easy, everybody.